Hello and welcome to the International Daily Roundup by People's Dispatch, where we bring you major news developments from around the world. Our headlines, talks between protesting farmers and Indian government do not reach agreement on key demands. Iranian Foreign Minister warns US against military adventurism in the region. Jubilation in Argentina after passing of abortion bill. In our first story, the latest round of talks between the Indian government and protesting farmers has not yielded any conclusive results. While the government has reportedly agreed to two out of the four demands placed by farmers' unions, their main demands remain unaddressed. The key demands of the farmers has been the withdrawal of the three agricultural laws passed in September. The farmers say these laws will drive down prices they get for their produce and lead to a greater corporate role in agriculture. The farmers also want a legal guarantee for the minimum support price. The minimum support price or MSP is an amount determined by the government at which it procures agricultural produce. On these two issues, there has been no conclusion so far. The decisions were announced after the sixth round of talks between the central government and the Samyukt Kisan Morcha or the SKM on December 30th. The SKM is an umbrella organization comprising over 40 farmers' groups. On the other hand, farmers will now be exempt from fines on the burning of crop stubble. This is related to a recent environmental ordinance to prevent air pollution in Delhi and surrounding areas. The government has also agreed to accept the farmers' concerns on the Electricity Amendment Bill. According to the farmers, this would have removed subsidies and guarantees. Tens of thousands of farmers have been protesting at the borders of Delhi for more than a month. A seventh round of talks to discuss the three laws and a guarantee for the MSP is now scheduled on the 4th of January. Now, next to Iran's Foreign Minister Jawad Zarif has warned the US to desist from EU military adventurism in the region. Zarif stated that the Washington would be responsible for any fallout from these actions. He was conducting a phone call with Qatari Foreign Minister and Deputy Prime Minister Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani on December 30th. It was on the same day that the US had flown two of its strategic B 52 bombers over the Persian Gulf. The U.S. Central Command stated that the bombers were flown as a defensive move to deter any potential adversaries. Tensions between Iran and the U.S. have increased for nearing the first anniversary of the assassination of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. Soleimani was killed by a U.S. drone strike near the Baghdad airport on January 3, 2019. Iran retaliated by launching a ballistic missile attack on a U.S. military base in Iraq. An Iranian official stated today that the state has identified 48 persons responsible for Soleimani's assassination and will initiate legal proceedings against them. The US, on the other hand, has been increasing its military presence in the Persian Gulf. Over the past two weeks, it has deployed a nuclear-powered submarine and two warships in the region. The Central Command also held a joint aviation exercise in the region with Saudi Arabia on December 21st. President Donald Trump further accused Iran of a rocket attack on a military base in Baghdad last week. The Iranian Foreign Ministry has rejected these allegations, stating that the accusations were an attempt to increase tensions in the region. Iran is calling for greater regional cooperation and a withdrawal of all foreign troops from the region. And in our final story, we take a look at the celebrations following the momentous victory in Argentina after the bill for voluntary termination of pregnancy was passed on Wednesday morning. A partir de hoy el país es más libre, es más justo. Las mujeres tenemos más derechos, los conquistamos. Esto es una lucha histórica, necesaria. Ya no podíamos esperar más. Estamos 
sembrando semilla en toda América Latina. Argentina está siendo pionera una vez más en conquistar derechos de las mujeres y mujeres gestantes, personas gestantes. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back next week with more news from around the world. Until then, keep watching People's Dispatch. Bien, cantar, que vamos a triunfar, avanzañar.